Chelsea Gabbard is taking legal action after claiming last month that she'd been placed on the domestic terror watch list. Gabbard said in September the, that she had been flagged as a risk at the Department of Homeland Security's Transportation Security Administration. She said that before boarding a flight on July 23rd, she and her husband were pulled aside for additional TSA screening, and on the next flights they took, their boarding passes were marked with the Quad S, which stands for Secondary Security Screening Selection. Gabbard said that on August 4th, federal air marshal whistleblowers told her she'd been added to a secret terror watch list on July 23rd, the day after President Joe Biden announced his exit from the 2024 presidential race. Now she's fighting back. The federal air marshals, uh, federal air marshal whistleblowers came forward and exposed the truth and provided evidence about how one day after I criticized Kamala Harris on a televised national interview talking about how dangerous the consequences would be if she were to serve as president and commander in chief, the very next day I was placed on a domestic terror watch list called Quiet Skies that almost nobody, including members of Congress, know much about. Given no reason why I was put on the list, there's no due process to say, hey, uh, show me what you got and take me off the list. Uh, as far as I know, the last time I asked, uh, I heard that the targeting package that the TSA built against me is still operational. Uh, I hope that Congress takes this up. I'm pursuing legal action, working with Jay Sekulow and the ACLJ, Good. because I'm not the only one who is being impacted by this. There are many Americans whose names will never make headlines who who have also been wrongly targeted by this administration, specifically because of their political views and their exercise of their right to free speech. On July 22nd, Gabbard said Harris was, quote, dangerous because she did not, quote, have the strength to stand up to the military industrial complex who are profiting from us being in a constant state of war. The American Center for Law and Justice says they are filing FOIA requests to the TSA, Department of Homeland Security, FBI, and Department of Justice, and are preparing to file various lawsuits. Yeah, I think we definitely need a lot more information on what happened here. Um, I have been very critical of the TSA for a long time. Indeed. Uh, it is a, I actually, in our most recent um, issue of Reason Magazine, where I also work, um, we, it was the Abolish Everything edition of the, you know, we're crazy libertarians, we want to get rid of the entire government. My contribution was abolish the TSA, which is extraordinarily wasteful, does not make us safer in any way, and in fact, routinely violates the civil liberties of all Americans, including apparently Tulsi Gabbard, who was subjected to all of these extra invasive security um, screenings. We are not sure why. She has suggested it might be connected to her political her embrace of Donald Trump and speaking out against Biden and Harris. I don't know if that's the reason. We don't know what the reason is because you don't ever get clarity from these people. Um, but it is it is nuts to have all of these extra agents following around what like a, a prominent person who's obviously not like a terrorist or a criminal. Or it's it's just crazy to me. I, I don't buy it to be honest because. It's very clear what you don't the think they're doing is. this to Tulsi. No, I think that she, you know, we that was a random screening check, and she. So I looked it up online. It's not that hard to figure it out. Um, if you're on the no-fly list, you receive a letter, or, or you just do not receive a ticket when you're on. She's the not on the no-fly list. This is a yeah. different for terror designation. She said, "I'm looking at the designations right now. That designation that she had is something that is 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 usually because they're randomly selected. And if when you get secondary screening, I've had it before. I'm sure you guys have too. Plenty of people have. She has a right, and if she wants to find out, there is a process, and it's very simple. You ask the Homeland Security. You uh, can apply uh, to redress the inquiry program, and if you are a security threat, your lawyer can ask." for the information. Instead, she's making it a media bonanza and making it about her. And it's very popular to criticize the TSA. I get it. And she is, I believe, doing this politically. You know, plenty of people get pulled aside all the time. I don't think that the no-fly list is accurate. I think it's flawed. I think 100% of Americans are mad at the TSA. And she is using this as an opportunity, as she always does, to enhance her career and get in the media limelight and attack the Harris administration. Kamala Harris doesn't do anything with the TSA. Do we think that our dysfunctional government, the TSA, which can't get names right, is in some vast conspiracy? And they did it in one day after, after Tulsi Gabbard criticized Kamala Harris, do you think that they had this vast conspiracy to pull her aside so she couldn't get on a plane? No, if they did that, they would do something much more, you know, concrete. She's opportunistic. Tulsi Gabbard is about Tulsi Gabbard, and it has always been that case. You know, if she's on the list, then ask. Do the process. Instead, she's making it sound like she's, you know, 
completely being ostracized and she, they're, they're claiming she's a terrorist. Nowhere in that qualification does it say she's a terrorist. It was a random security check based on what she was listed as. Well, this is a lot more than just a second security screening, though. She says that as she's going between flights, she has basically a cabal of TSA agents she says that, following her around. She says that, do you believe it? Yes, I, yes, believe it. I do believe it. Um, this, she's not the first person that this has happened to. Um, Lauren Southern, who used to work for Blaze, uh, or sorry, Rebel Media out of Canada, has talked about how she was basically stopped from flying back and forth between Australia and Canada to see her husband's family because they had uh, designated her as some kind of extra security risk. That's not an American similar... law. That's a different law. Right, but she was also going through America at this time too. Like she basically wasn't allowed to fly anywhere. Um, point being, she also had the similar situation with TSA agents following her back and forth between planes and then eventually not letting her board the plane. Basically, this is not unheard of for this to happen to someone who has been critical of government officials. And I absolutely am more willing to believe Tulsi Gabbard than the TSA or the Biden-Harris Yeah, let me... Well, they even said uh, anything. I, I, I don't know that it's because of her commentary, but I absolutely believe it's happening here. It's part of the... It's not the no-fly zone. It's the Quiet Skies program. Let me right. read you a little bit about this Quiet Skies program. This is from NPR. In 2018, some Americans have been trailed and closely monitored by undercover air marshals as they travel on U.S. flights as part of this program. The air marshals take notes on, our, on the passenger's behavior. The existence of this program was it was disclosed then, back then in 2018. Um, the air marshals expressed misgivings about this surveillance program, questioned whether it's legal and whether it's an efficient use of resources. The TSA said it's an impractical method of keeping acts of terrorism from occurring at 30,000 feet. And the program is reviewed, they say, by privacy, civil rights, and civil liberties people. So my point being, this was not, this doesn't need to be partisan or political or having anything to do with a conservative or an anti whatever agenda. This was, this is a program that liberals were furious, correctly furious about several years ago when its existence was revealed. Um, I, I think it's ludicrous what we allow our government to do to us as we're trying to go about air travel with no additions to security, no enhancement to security whatsoever. The TSA fails all of like 90% of their, when they when you test to see if you can actually get a knife through, you can do it. Um, not that it okay. matters if you have a knife on a plane because nobody's take, nobody's hijacking planes anymore because they lock the cockpit doors, which is the one innovation we did after 9-11 that actually solves the airport safety issue. I agree with you, but that is not what was on her ticket. And I think she's lying. Mm. All right, you tell us what you think. We've got a lot more to come. More rising right after this.